I'm going to show you how to use geometry nodes to take any mesh and instance a bunch of inflatable balloons in it. To begin, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to select everything, delete it, and I'm going to start with a torus. So this will be the mesh that we're using in this tutorial, but you could obviously change this later. I'm going to create a new geometry node, so I'll just label it balloons. I'll pin this, and we want to instance a bunch of objects inside of here. So to do that, I'm going to do a mesh to volume. And then I'm going to do a distribute points in volume. And then I'm going to instance on points, not two points. Oh, there we are. And I'm going to do an icosphere. You could use different geometries, but I like icosphere just because it creates this um, pretty evenly distributed sphere or verts that are pretty evenly distributed in that sphere. And let's just make this a little, a little smaller for now. We can actually put that into a value because perhaps it's something we want to animate or change later. It will be easier to tweak like so. So we have the basic um, objects that will be inside of our mesh and we can increase it, but there's a few issues. So basically, each of these will basically be balloons that are going to have cloth simulation on it. And if they're overlapping, it can actually cause some issues that uh, the Blender cloth simulator kind of creates all these glitches with. So I like to add a merge by distance on the points that we distributed. And we can just crank this up so we can create some space between the instance objects. And it's still kind of random. It's not like perfectly uniform. Um, and we could obviously change the seed and see different variations of it. But for now, let's just keep it like this and we can see how it is later. All right, so now that we have these, we basically want to add a cloth sim on it. And to do that, I will just go into here and I'll click cloth. And I'm gonna by default, just kind of go into the field weights and set gravity to zero. And we wanna add pressure I'm going to make that 200 and we're going to be tweaking these values a lot. So um, I'm going to try and help you understand how to debug it yourself because with blender and cloth, you can often encounter glitches. So I'm actually going to up the quality of the, the collisions to 10. So to me, this is quite important because we're going to be filling the mesh and the quality of steps here. Maybe we put it to 10, maybe we keep it at five. We'll see. And the last thing here is uh, once we start inflating it, it'll need some sort of geometry to uh, conform into. So to do that, I'm going to create another torus. I could also have just duplicated the previous one. And I actually want this to be a bit wider. So I'm going to do something like that. And let's just double the segments. And the reason I'm doubling the segments is so that when the balloons inside of it are pushing against the wall, we won't see like really hard edges uh, to where it's conforming to this, this geometry. We could even bump it up further if we wanted something like this. All right. We basically need to take this outer torus, which I'm actually going to change its visibility so we can see inside of it. I'm going to set this to wire and we're going to want to go into edit mode select all the all the quads and then do a invert or a flip flip normal so now that the normals are flipped um, if we press play we're actually not seeing anything right now and that's because if we go back into these spheres that we generated um, there's several issues one cloth sim and geometry nodes for them to work the cloth needs to be put afterward, but also these are just instances right now. So we need to actually realize those instances. Now we're going to start to see them move. Uh, so you actually see it moves out of this, this uh, collision object. And that's because we didn't set it to collision yet. So if I set that to collision and then I click play, you'll see they'll bounce inside of there. Now let's go back into our, um, inner balloons. And there's several things we want to look at. Um, one is the distance in which the collision is. 
So but I like to have both of these always be the same. If we want the collisions to be really close, we could do like 0.01. Uh, for now, I'll just keep it 0.05. I think having a, a bigger distance actually prevents some glitches with the cloth sim. We could always up the pressure. So let's just say 2000 and it, it instantly glitches out because it's way too high. So you can see uh, it's, it's all a balance. So I'm gonna just keep it at 200. And the main thing I'm gonna keep tweaking is this tension. So the tension is bas basically the amount of force it wants in order for it to keep its own shape. So if I set that to five and I click play, uh, you can see it's bigger than it was before. Let's say I set it to three and it's starting to work. So it's, it's all a matter of tweaking. Let's do like 3.5 and it's actually looking pretty good. The only thing I don't like is that I think the, the objects inside look all a little too uniform. So I kind of want to maybe tweak, let's go back to here, tweak um, how we're generating these. Maybe this is actually too high. Let's try and do something like that. This one's falling outside of the outer sphere a little bit. So let's just see if that creates an issue. Looks like it's working pretty well. Um, and one thing to note is if you were to do subdivision four, all these cloth values need to then be changed. So it is very dependent on how many vertices your, your cloth, your initial cloth geometry is using. So I like to keep it low because later I can always subdivide it and make it look really smooth. So we get back to here. I actually think this is looking pretty good. And we're gonna want to do a set material, which we'll create shortly. And we also want a set smooth. So there's a few things. One, because we had that 0.15 distance on the collision that you get to see all these like little gaps in the geometry. So to avoid that, I like to do a, uh, well, first I wanna do a subdivision just to get it smoother. And then I want to do a uh, solidify. And with solidify, I can actually go in the inverse direction. And I just go kind of like a minus 0.0, I don't know, 0.06, let's say. Maybe we can even go lower, try 0.05. 0.05. Uh, and now it looks like really condensed balloons within this original torus object. And let's create a material. I'm gonna show you one last thing just in terms of materials. Uh, I'm gonna create one here. Let's just call it balloon, set it here. And I'm gonna put the shader editor over here. So it would be, let's just put one more light in here as well. So let's put a sunlight, put it at three. All right. So it's very easy to just like put the material all is the same for each sphere, but we may actually want to have the spheres be random colors. And if you've realized instances, you're not able to do the object info node and set it to random. So this will all just be white. So if I do the realized instances, which we do need to do because it's a cloth sim, I'm gonna want to add a capture attribute and I will drag this attribute here and because we're doing it before the instances are realized, I can set this to instance. So for each instance, I'm capturing this attribute. I'll just put it here so you can see a little bit better. And what do I want to capture? I can do a random value and it could be whatever I want. I think zero to one makes sense here. And under the geometry node, over here, output, I'll say rand. I can basically type whatever I want there. And then in the shader, I can do attribute type rand. And we're gonna have a bunch of random, well, actually it's zero to one, so it's a little hard to see, but I'll show you with like a color ramp. And we can set this to like HSV put something in like that. 
Maybe we put one more color in here. And now we have a bunch of random colors within our inflatable object. So you could add this to any mesh. The key is to just create a outer collision mesh, generate your, your points, inflate it with the cloth, and then do a little bit of tweaking and shading to make it look good. If you like this tutorial, drop a like, drop a sub. I'll have this file up on my Patreon. Thank you for watching.